Hey, nobody wants to go broke. That's the last thing we want to do is go broke trying to help. That don't even make sense. You know, how you doing today? My name is Kion Church. If you don't know me, who am I? I'm your in-home health care guy. Hashtag live or hashtag rebroadcast, depending on, you know, where you watching this at. So look, what do I do? I help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now, I wanted to get on here with you today because taking care of more than one person is a real job. And if you got to sacrifice the job that's paying you money to take care of somebody, you you know, it's going to be a hard road down the line. You know what I'm saying? What's going on with you, fam? Hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. Let everybody know that you're here with me today, man. Now, look, we talking about, uh, you know, the sacrifices that, you know, we sometimes have to make for our loved ones. You know what I mean? Our family, our friends, you know what I mean? Our parents, you know what I mean? I don't even know, but if you know, but I moved home to take care of two people. I moved back into my parents' house to take care of my mom and dad. Now, that's not a paying job. You know what I mean? So I was kind of struggling for a while until I figured it out. You know what I mean? If you're like me and you, you move back to do the most honorable thing and you can't find a way to uh, succeed financially, call me. You know, I want to tell you like this, man. Ain't no fun unless my friends can get some. And if we talking about being poor, that ain't what I'm wishing for my friends. You know what I mean? I hope everybody out here that's taking care of somebody else can maintain some financial stability. You know what I mean? Like, we jumped in this for the love, but we didn't jump in this to be broke at the same time. You know what I mean? It's a lot going on, and 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 I need my money. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave out the house right now, take my father to an appointment, and we got to get some gas. You know what I mean? Now, it's great that I'm here and I'm with him today and I can drive him to the appointment, but without the gas to put in the car, we're not going to get there. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't no fun being broke, man. I'm, I, I just want to let you know that, you know, for real. So... If your parents or loved ones are Medicaid, long-term health care, they qualify for a paid aid. So a lot of people ask me, they say, KC, how do you help with that? I said, well, check this out. Reliable Aid Inc. is what's called a Medicaid service provider. So Medicaid actually calls me. They call me daily. They, they like, Phew. they was just on the phone not too long ago. They say, hey, KC, we got some good people. I need you to stop in on a day. And I said, all right, that's cool. But when I get there and I find out that they already have family members that are there checking in with them that sometimes actually live with them, what I do is I hire them so they can get the check. You know what I mean? They already taking care of their parents. Let, let me put the paycheck in your pocket. That's what I do. That's what I do. You know what I mean? I'm the healthcare guru guy. You know what I mean? Everybody that's Medicaid long-term health care plan program, they're qualified for a paid aid. Now, that should say it right there. Now, some people come with built-in family members, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I got a cousin, he lives on the couch at his mom's house. He takes care of his mom. Now, that's cool. Everybody doesn't have somebody. So, you know, I pick up the gaps and, and, and do what I got to do. You know what I mean? What's going on, Sean? How you doing today, man? So, uh, you know, if you happen to be the caregiver, what we do is we take care of you. We'd rather put the money in your pocket, you know what I mean? Especially if you're there every day, you know? Some people need extra help. They need extra people to come into the household. They say, yo, KC, you know, I I, I got to work at night and I need somebody, you know, or they say, uh, hey, KC, I'm here day and night, but I can't leave to go pick up a paycheck. What can you do for me? I said, well, look, we're going to turn you into a paid aid, man, because that's what we do. Hey, Sean, what's going on with you, baby? How you doing, man? Listen, if you know a couple uh, big-hearted caregivers, you know a lot of people, man. You know a couple big-hearted caregivers, they need a job or, or maybe they already may be taking care of their parents and their loved ones. Don't be afraid to share this video, you know what I mean? Tag them, put their name right in the comment, man, all, and tell them to call me because I'm going to take care of them, you know what I mean? 302-689-3240. Look, ain't no fun unless my friends can get some. You see, you see what I'm saying? So uh, we're not trying to leave nobody behind, man, because being broke... And needing help, that's like, that's like almost criminal. You know what I'm saying? Like being broke is criminal, period. Like we don't want to be broke. That's the worst thing in the world. You know what I mean? Like that's like almost insane. And I don't want to go broke helping nobody. How many times have you asked people for a favor and they said, I would, but I can't go right now. I got to go to work or I picked up an extra shift or... 
hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm doing these extra hours, these overtime hours, you know, try to get my financial situation together. Well, that's not helping you. That's not helping you at all because you still got appointments. You still like to get up every day and do your thing. You know, you might want to get yourself together, you know, go downtown, get you a slice of pizza or something today. I don't know. But if you can get up and do it by yourself, you're going to need somebody there with you. You're going to need somebody to drive you. And then you're going to need some money in your pocket to get that pizza. You know what I'm saying? Now, I can't fill in all the gaps for you. But what I can do is I can turn your caregiver into a paid aid. You know what I mean? Miss Tootie, how you doing today? Look, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. Let the people know where you came in at on this thing. You know, also, don't be afraid to like and share. I don't know what platform you're watching this on. If you're watching it live, you're probably here with me on the book. But if you catch me in a rebroadcast, we could be everywhere. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm like omnipresent on this social media thing. Now, this is the only one that I'm really on. So make sure that you hit the button. Anytime KC goes live, you want to hit that live notification so you be down with me. You know what I'm saying? But depending on where you at, we're going to go live together wherever you at. You know what I mean? I'm doing good, Miss Tootie. How you doing? You know what I mean? I'm just uh, laying low and trying to keep firing. You know what I mean? I'm trying to let everybody know, wake everybody up. Look, if you in the program, you know what I mean? If you in this long-term health care, a.k.a. LTSS Medicaid program, you qualify for a paid aid. So look, if you or somebody you know is leaving a lot of money on the table, let me know. If someone is interested in being a caregiver but has none of my family members is not in need of one, can they still see more? Let me see. Can they still can they still be eligible? Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen, you family to me, if if, if you got somebody, they family to me. If they got if they in there taking care of your family, they family. Cause ain't nobody working for free. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I, I lived here for I don't know how many years so far, you know, just moving back. And as nobody knocked on my door, say, hey, man, let me let me keep my eye on your pop today, man, while you go out and have a good time. So what I'm trying to tell you is if they there, they helping and they family and they absolutely qualify. You know, what I mean, and just to keep it all the way real, everything you need to be a caregiver in the state of Delaware, you need a two part TV shot. You know, what I mean, that's the little thing they stick in your arm and then they read it. And then, you know, since it's two part, they come back the next week. They stick the thing back underneath your arm. You know, what I mean, make sure you ain't got no TB. Then you're going to need a physical. You know what I mean? Now, we don't do any heavy lifting. You know what I mean? CNAs get scared. They be like, oh, KC. And I'm like, nah, nah, we don't do that. That's called skill care. We do what's called unskilled care or activities of daily living. Now, all that means is I help people, you know, with things that they need to do on a daily basis. We don't do no medication reminders. We're not doing nothing slick with the medicine. We're not, we not, we not doing a lot of stuff. But what I do do is... Good, awesome companionship. You know, we got the best in the business over here with this companionship. New leads coming in. Okay, that's what's up. So, uh, other than that, you need a drug screen. You know what I mean? Now, that's easy. You know, the state requires. They call me. I'm online. They don't even know. We on live, baby. Just check me out on the live. That's all. Also, the last thing they're going to need is an SBI, State Bureau of Investigation background check. Fingerprints got to be right. All right? So, you know, it's a lot of slack there if you're a family caregiver. You know, a lot of people, you know, I had a guy, he called me and he was like, oh man, you know, I got a little something on my record. Can I still qualify to be a paid caregiver? I'm like, yeah, as long as it's your mama. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to keep it funky with you. I can't send you to nobody else's house because, you know, you know, your jacket a little bad. You know, there. But at the same time, can you get paid to take care of your family? Yes, you can. Absolutely, man. We love you. They love you. I love you, man. That's what time it is. You know, so look. If you need any more help, any more details, don't be afraid to call me 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. You know, jump right in my DM, man. It's a million people always contacting me. I'm like, I don't even know if we know each other, but I'm helping you anyway. You know what I mean? Because that's what I do. Meet the new in-home healthcare guy, Mr. KC himself. All right. So look, don't let anybody shame or blame you into thinking that taking care of your parents or your loved ones is a bad thing, you know? We doing this to get our blessings. So look, share this, like this, you know, do what you got to do. Get it out to the people and let them know that it, it's some money in it for you, you know. And, you know, you don't have to trade uh, uh, all the kindness and all the things you're doing for being broke. Because <laughs> that's absurd. Nobody wants to be broke. You feel me? So look, I got to go. Pop said he ready. So talk to you later. One love. Holler at you tomorrow. Thanks.